Alright guys, I didn't film any of the fire damage with this camera yet. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Because... I'm fucking tired after all that running around, I tell you what. Anyways, uh, my dad gave me some old extinguishers just in case, because I'm going to be here anyway. This battery's pooch, by the way. Um, let's show you what's going on. Here's the date, uh, time, temperatures, 88 out, 77 in here. It went up a bit because for two to three hours I had the air off and the door open because I was running around fighting a fire. Holy fuck. So, oh, by the way, this extinguisher gone. That's one. Here's another extinguisher gone. Thank God I bought those. Priceless in the time of need, I tell you what. Oh, man. All right, I'll give you an update on the electrical. I had some, I got a little Caesars, I got leftovers, I couldn't eat it all. Um, here we go. The air conditioner is pretty much the only thing plugged in. Well, the battery, my battery charger is doing nothing and the Dyson is doing nothing. So the air conditioner is using 3.3 .3 amps at 120 volts. Um, I'm bringing in 24 amps and the battery is at 13.5 So everything's happy there um, The fridge is working awesome by the way Let's click the button um, You can't read that with the shit It's hard to focus on the display on this um, 30 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 actually is what it reads inside so anyways nice and cool I got a fly in here I'm gonna fix that I got a fly spotter the AC has been on max basically the whole entire time and I'm just watching some videos and trying to slow my heart down <laughs> after the nonsense so I called my brother um, uh, basically I had to run home to my parents place they have a little utility trailer I had to grab that and we loaded up uh, the shit they pulled out of his trailer and my dad just threw a tarp on it for tonight and it's in their driveway um what else oh yeah everything's drying out here the washer and everything i got a little fan blowing running just and the fans down here are still blowing to ensure total dryness under the ibc totes after the flood my water level is down to here now which is pretty substantial i went through quite a bit under 150 gallons there you go so not by much though I got the fly swatter, by the way. I'm going to nail some fucking bugs. Um, anyways. Yeah. So, later tonight, when I start losing power, I'm going to be disconnecting all of this shit so I can watch TV for the rest of the night. And how I'm going to do that is pull the fuses up in the 12-volt fuse block. And that should stop that from pulling three amps or three amps per socket. Um, I never got to insulating that, and who cares? <laughs> I was too busy. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything's cool. Let me uh, put the fly swatter down. I'm gonna just test these wires. This one is not very warm now. It's it's lukewarm. These are nothing. The joints, nothing. Inverter, nothing. And that's not even, that's fuck all. But the highest I think I brought in, guys, was like 55 amps off of two solar panels, which is blowing my mind still. Holy shit. LG makes amazing fucking product. 
My LG solar panels, guys. Oh yeah, and I have my old video camera charged up too. It was on there. Um, <clears throat> I think that's all I can show you. So I'm gonna keep the fly swatter nearby. Got my cell phone. I picked up some extra waters. Like I said, I went home, showered, hang with, hung out with my parents a little bit, and told them, "Don't bother me. I want to relax. I, it's my first day off, and I'm running around fighting fires, guys. But thank God, the off-grid tiny house is saved, and my dad's trailer is saved. <sighs> Fuck." unbelievable so anyways um yeah the firefighters were great uh they sent out a fire inspector as well and uh they they said it was um they said it was uh pink insulation apparently if it gets wet is like straw bales it will get hot and spontaneously combust However, I'm pretty sure it was his skylights that were ma uh, magnifying the sun's rays and started a fire. 100% sure it was that. But the expert told me pink insulation can spontaneously combust if it's wet. So good to know. So there you go, guys. There's your pro tip for the day. I don't care how, how it started. It's gone now. Um, and under my trailer is a mess because we took a lot of the shit that burned from my dad's trailer and just threw it under mine for now. And my dad's got a lot of work ahead of him and I'll have to help him next door on his trailer. But I want to take a, a break tonight, a rest, and start a new day without a fucking fire. <laughs> And I told my parents, don't come over here tonight and bother me. I want to chill after this shit. So anyways, I took a capsule of cannabis oil. Um, and in an hour or so, I will feel the effects. And start really zenning out. And probably pass out sleeping. So... Before I pass out, I'm going to shut. make sure to shut everything down, like the air conditioner, on and on and on. Um, the sun is, it's only, it's about 5.30 now. So this, oh, and by the way, I ordered on Wish a new temperature, it's actually a weather sensor and temperature sensor. And it's USB powered, so I, the, I'm eliminating the need for three AAA batteries, because I'm just going to hook it up to my off-grid setup. The only batteries I'll need is for the outdoor remote sensor, which is fine, but that's going to save me a lot of bullshit. So I bite the billet, bit, bit the bullet, and ordered that from Wish. It may be free. Like I said in my video. Um, now's the time to hit wish hard guys they cannot fulfill orders and you get shit free and you get refunded and then later on your shit will show up at a random time that you ordered so don't just be patient shit will come you'll get refunded it's pretty sweet and fuck them for COVID they deserve it take all take everything you can get um <laughs> Chai com bastards. So, anyways, uh, 77.2. I'm going to try to drop this as low as I can before, obviously, before a night hits, right? Make it comfortable. However, I think I'll be okay because, um,. At night time, it cools down and you can know, literally open the window and sleep with the windows open. So I think I'll be fine. But I want to see how far I can push this with the new panels. How long. And then my only concern overnight after that will be I got to disable the um, three, three amp hour uh, or 3.0 amp. USB socket fast quick charging devices. They hog the power. Three amps a socket times six 
Actually, it's actually six amps times six. That's a shit ton of amps drawing in the middle of the night with no solar when you're at night. So I have to disable that. I will rewire that completely when my other stuff comes in from Wish. I have to do that anyway. It's going to be a big rewire job. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to correct the TV so it's not tilted like the way it is. It's stupid. And I also have to watch tonight if the fridge F's off and I'm going to probably I'm gonna probably drop it as low as I can, the fridge tonight, to freezing, and then that way overnight, um, the bottles will be, water bottles will be frozen in there, hopefully, and will hold and maintain some temperature in that cooler. So I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that right now on the I'm gonna drop it to the bare minimum it can go, and just, I'll I'll video that in a minute.